Microsoft added a new feature to SharePoint called News for Email. This feature allows you to create news posts that are optimized for distribution via email, and with a few simple clicks, you can share that post directly from SharePoint. This video will show you how to use this feature and will also show you some tips to make the most of it. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Now you can see here I'm on a SharePoint website that has a news web part on the homepage. Now I'll go ahead and click on the add button and then I'll click on news post. Now you can see here in the news templates menu that there are now new made for email templates. Now these templates are made for email in that you can easily share a news post after it has been published via email such that it will look and render nicely on any device. Now you can see here that there are several different pre-formatted options, including newsletter, event, status update, topic, and if you don't like any of these, you can always start with a blank news template. Now I'll go ahead and click on the newsletter option, and then I'll click on create post. Now, as with other SharePoint news post template, you can customize these to meet your specific requirements. Now, what you'll also notice is the publish button is now called post and send. And you can see here, if I hover over this, the tip that reads post your news and then send the news as an email. Now I'll go ahead and click on this. And you can see here that this post was published on our SharePoint site news web part. And you'll also see now that you have the option to send this post to users via email right from SharePoint. You'll also notice that the title of the newsletter automatically populates in the subject of this email. Now I'll go ahead and send this to myself and then we'll pull it up so that we can see what it looks like. Now you also have the option to put in a message here if you would like. I'll just go ahead and leave this as is and you can even choose to send this as a link. And you'll see here, if you send it as a link, it's just going to include a preview. Now I will send this as the full newsletter so that we can see what it looks like in Outlook, both on desktop and mobile. Now I'll go ahead and click send. And we can see here that this has been sent. I'll click okay. Now, if you're finding this video helpful, you may also want to download your free copy of my three SharePoint tips to increase your productivity. In this free PDF guide, I outline three subtle tips that you can implement to help increase your efficiency and improve your workflow in SharePoint. I've included a link to this guide in the description of this video below, or you can just click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen and download your free copy right now. And you can see here that I've pulled up Outlook and you can see the September 2023 newsletter. Now I'll go ahead and click on this and I'll expand this here. And you can see here that the news post is sent as an email. It's embedded nicely and it renders very cleanly directly in the body of an email. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at what it looks like when you open it on a mobile device. Now you can see here that I've pulled up the email template on my mobile device. Now you can see the subject line and the header. And as I scroll down, you can see here that this email template renders perfectly and is optimized for viewing on my mobile device. And the best part about this feature is I didn't have to spend any time or effort customizing or changing the layout of this template. It was just available to me out of the box. Now, a couple of other notes with these new templates, you do still have the option to view post analytics. Now I'll click on the analytics button that is embedded on the top of the post. And you'll notice here on the page analytics that for a news post sent as email, page viewers, views, and traffic contain data from email. However, reading time is not recorded for email views. So these page analytics will also show you your views and engagement with the post for folks that have accessed it directly from SharePoint and for those who viewed the post from the email that you sent. 
Now, if you're finding this video helpful, be sure to check out my other tutorials on the SharePoint news web part. I've included links to those tutorials in the description below, or you can just go ahead and click those cards in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And one additional note, when you publish a news post, if you choose not to send it as email at the time of publishing, you can always do so after the fact by clicking into the post and clicking on the share button where you will find this send as email option. Now, the last thing to note, you can share non made for email template news posts via email. Now you can see here, this is just a regular text-based news post. And if I click on the share button, you can see that I only have the option to send this as a link in the email. Now, if you found this video helpful, you might also be interested in one of these videos. I've included links to them in the description below, or you can check them out on my YouTube channel homepage. See you in the next video.